Hey friends, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Gridiron. I've got a really quick one for you today. It's how to make a Mora-like sheath in under 60 seconds. Check it out. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Gridiron. Friends, uh, like many of you, we're super fans of the Mora concept, Mora sheaths, and uh, I'm a I'm a lo I'm a big fan. I'm not uh, sponsored by them uh, just yet, but uh, I do carry the Mora. And one of the main reasons behind the the affordability and the quality that you get with the Mora product is uh, I actually like like the sheath. I like that 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 sound that that positive retention when it goes back in the sheath. But uh, I'm not always carrying this one. Sometimes it's, it's buried in my pack. In the past, I've uh, been creative and made my own leather neck knives. And that was one out of a kind of a rat tail file. That was a pretty, pretty uh, adventurous build, that one. This is a small kind of Solagen knife. I think many of you have seen the, the big, big brother to that one. But again, I made a nice little neck knife, which works really well. This is more of a Puko design. This could be a hip carry more than a neck knife. It's a little long, but uh, I put a little antler tying on the end and uh, it, it grabs the finger quite well and put good retention. Kind of a skinning knife, fishing knife, if you will. Some other knives that I've built with uh, the, the leather, leather sheath. This is not a little overkill for a neck knife, but it's uh, more of a belt knife. But again, uh, the, the leather and wood combo as you can see there's a there's a running theme here a lot of it has to do with leather craft here's a another little quick and dirty my version of a, a kind of an Eldris uh, kind of more Eldris I think that's how you pronounce it and uh, a leather leather sheath I've wore this in many many videos it was just a DIY DIY product uh, both the, the sheath and the knife but I came across another knife buried in my collection with a split handle, and it was an old Roku, uh, Roku maybe, made in Sweden. So this, the steel is excellent. I think it's about three and a half inches long. It's not quite a full tang. It has that kind of thin tang inside. I made a new handle, just an epoxy fit. This was an old piece of a, a paddle, but uh, I just like the, the rustic use of it. 90 degree spine on the back. I'm not even sure it might even float. I haven't tested that out yet, but it just might be a kind of a handle end floating knife. I'll have to try that later. But one of the things I wanted to do was replicate this plastic sheath with something I had laying around the shop. Looked around, couldn't find any use any PVC pipe, and it wasn't until I was doing another job, which was actually vacuuming in my truck, that uh, I started handling these. These were the vacuum cleaner extension ones for reaching in those crevices and I don't know about you but they really resembled the the profile that one would need for a knife sheath certainly already made of very durable plastic I got rooting around in the rest of my supplies and I found three three of them all various sizes the size, the smallest size was great, just a little bit of the tip coming out the end. So I think I opted for the middle middle range and just like that, instant sheath for my Mora. I could even afford to come back a little bit on the back end here, but uh, instant sheath, very deep, drill a little pilot hole in the end and uh, I think with a little piece of paracord that's going to work well to uh, to anchor and serve as a little quick quick housing for my my new knife maybe a little bit of heat on the side walls to kind of a press fit and I might even make that into uh, that so it has a little bit of retention but uh, that'll be something I play with moving forward 
Anyways, I thought of that, I saw that today, and I said, wow, somebody else has got these things laying around, or certainly you can find them in the thrift stores for next to nothing. I think this is a good alternative to uh, a leather sheath, certainly in the wilderness, maybe canoe camping. So that uh, I want to share that with you today and uh, take it for what, what it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what I've had to share today, don't forget to check out my other videos. And until next time, enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now.